solve the next equation. We can see that there is a base of 3 here, also there is a base of 3 here, but there is a base of 2 here. But we know the next property for logarithms that log AB is equal to log CB over log CA. C may be absolutely any value, uh, definitely positive, not equal to 1. But if C is equal to B, we can see that log AB is equal to 1 over log BA. So, 1 over 2 log 2, 3 is equal to a half and multiplied by log to the base 3 of 2 and plus log to the base 3 of 4x cubed. And on the left hand side there is log to the base 3 over square root of x and we can see that we can make that uh, on the left hand side there is uh, log log to the base 3 and uh, there is a single logarithm to the base 3 on the right hand side. We need move a half uh, to the power of this 2 and it becomes 2 to the power of a half and hence the right hand side becomes log over product because uh, the sum of two logs to the same basis is equal to a single log to the same base over product so it becomes log to the base 3 of 2 to the power of a half times 4 times x cubed and uh, log to the base 3 over square root x and hence we can equate expressions under uh, the logs and hence a square root of x is equal to 2 to the power of a half times 4 times x cubed and move all terms to one side so it becomes and we can factor out a square root of x and uh, multiply 2 to the power of half and 4 and uh, finally it's 2 to the power of 5 over 2 x to the power of 5 over 2 minus 1 since x is greater than 0 x cannot be equal to 0 so 0 is not a root hence 2 to the power of 5 over 2 x to the power of 5 over 2 minus 1 is 0 or uh, it's 1, hence raise both sides to the power of 2 over 5 to get 2x is 1, hence x is a half. And that's all for this question.